last announcement of the night. I am officially announcing I am back. That's right, everybody. It is finally here. The Warcraft Logs DK Analyzer for Cataclysm Classic. Currently, it is available for Unholy DKs. My plan is to get the Frost DK part updated um, by beginning or middle of next week. But this thing should greatly improve your play as a Death Knight in Cataclysm Classic. So let's take a look at how we can install this thing, how we can use it, and then I'm going to say a couple of things on what's coming update-wise, and then also how you can submit any bugs that you find in it. So I currently have it installed, but all you have to do is go to this place in the Chrome store. The link is at the bottom in the description of the video, and I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to add it back. Um, currently, it's built for Chrome or Chromium-based browsers like the one I use, Brave. I'm going to add it back to Brave. And then you can, of course, go in here and add it, pin it. But what you do is you go over to a fight. Um, I'm picking a not-so-great one of mine. So I got a 74 pars. This wasn't a terrific fight, so we can look at some good and bad things that I did. So you go into your log, you click on your name, get under damage done, and you'll see this little button appear next to analyze, the DK analyze. So you click that, it'll load up the report. So let's walk through this report a little bit. You can see my pars and also how our splits time compared on this Sinestra fight. It gave me a 78 analysis score. This score is going to be updating as I make some changes. Talk about that in a bit. First thing to look at though is my speed. Average GCD delay was 290. That's not great. Although on a fight like Sinestra, one thing I have to add into this fight is dead zones. I want to remove some of the movement as if when we are going for the whelps in phase two kind of want to change that a little bit but your average gcd delay should be as close to 100 as possible if you've got a 150 to 170 that's a really good gcd delay death and decay uptime should be close to 33 percent because you're only able to do it you know 15 seconds out of every minute the Dark Transformation uptime is one of the most important statistics in the analyzer. You should be getting as close to 70% as possible. It's actually possible to get above 70 and closer to like 74%, but 56 is not great. I could have definitely done a much better job on my Dark Transformation uptime. We see Death Eater, so if you've got the four piece, it'll pop up here. My melee uptime wasn't great on Sinestra, but that's something that I'm going to fix in the code so that there's... I mean, obviously, you're moving a lot uh, with Sinestra. You will have some downtime, so I'm going to fix that a little bit. You can see my disease uptime, your unholy presence. That should be 100%. If it's not, you're really griefing yourself. And then blood tap, three out of six possible times. So I could have used it more. Now... AMS is going to be something I'm going to tweak and add more in the future. Right now, it's not calculated in the score, but your total gain of runic power through AMS is a huge, huge part of your DPS. So look at this number, and I'll hopefully get a better way of measuring it where you can actually see how well you're doing on a per fight basis. But this is a good thing to compare with other Death Knights who are doing better than you, is check how much runic power they are gaining from AMS. Because if someone is really blasting, guaranteed they're going to be gaining a ton of runic power from AMS. Gaining it from AMS is going to allow for better Dark Transformation uptime. It's going to lead to more Death Coils, and thus more Runic Corruption procs, and thus more Rune usage. And of course, this also is taking account of the number of times you have overcapped your runic power. So then you can also see your total ghoul damage, melee uptime, make sure you didn't use Gnaw. Then this next section is your dark transformation section. 
So here you can see all of your dark transformations and how efficient you were and how many you possibly could have used. So in this case, I could have, had I been more efficient, had more dark transformations, which would have been a lot more damage. And this is something you cannot see easily in the logs just by themselves. So this is probably, in my opinion, the best part of the analyzer is being able to see how your procs are affecting your dark, dark transformations, all of the damage you're getting. You can see, for instance, that, you know, outside of phase three, where, of course, we have all of that haste. I only got 66% Unholy Frenzy uptime, which kind of hurt the damage that should have been happening in this DT number one. And then in this DT number three, I should have had better bloodlust uptime. What I have found is that when you have stacking buffs like Unholy Frenzy and Bloodlust, you want to try to match those up together. That will lead to a massive dark transformation. But here, this is only showing the buffs that you had at the time. Not everything that's possible, but the things that were partially procced during that time. So that you can see kind of the differences and how they each contributed to your overall dark transformation damage. Also have our Gargoyle. So I luckily used it two out of two possible times. I didn't snapshot my Heart of Rage in the beginning, nor did I get my Golem's Blood potion. So that really hurt my damage. As you can see, getting the Rage and the Golem's Blood led to nearly 100 extra K um, on my second Gargoyle. I can see my Army of the Dead totally scuffed uh, because I didn't get him into the right position on Sinestra. And then we, of course, have some other miscellaneous things like did I have a flask? Did I use my potions? Did I use all of my possible synapse springs, etc.? As for some of the things coming, Frost does not really work right now. My hope is to get that done in about a week's time. I want to add a Festering Strike tracker. So how often are you using Festering Strike on death runes? That can be a DPS loss. Um, I want to also, like I said, track AMS better. And are you using it efficiently? I'm also wanting to do more things around dark transformation. For instance, did you get a, what I call a Giga Chad Guglielmo or dark transformation where you had both Unholy Frenzy and full bloodless uptime together. So those are a couple of the changes I want to bring into this. Um, there are more, but I want to show you if you find a bug, how to create a ticket so that I can fix that. Okay. So this is the GitHub page for the Warcraft Logs DK Analyzer in Cataclysm. If you run into a bug or you have a feature to request, this is how you report that. So if you go to this link and go to my GitHub account for the Warcraft Logs DK Analyzer, you'll want to go up to the top to Issues. Once you've clicked on Issues, you go to New Issue, and then you'll see two templates. If you want to do a bug report, you go to Get Started on here. This will open up a ticket, give it a title, and then please fill out all of this information to the best of your abilities. So describe the bug, talk about how you can reproduce it or what you did to um, see this bug in action. Explain what you expected the behavior to be. If you have screenshots, please add those. Then give your desktop, especially your browser. Now for right now, this is only on Chrome, but I will be releasing Firefox and Edge, if you use Edge, um, in the near future. And then also the device that you're using it on. Just in case I can delve into why this bug is happening. And in some cases, it might be specific to a device or a certain browser. If you have a feature request, then just go to the get started and then just follow the instructions on here and click submit new issue. Finally, I want to give a special thanks to my guy Ducks who was the OG creator of the Warcraft Logs Analyzer. He's the one that built this, built the Wrath one, and he's also helped me to deploy this 
and he's going to continue helping me to like fix some of the issues and add some features such as the runes and rune drift so big thanks to ducks and big thanks to the whole death knight community all your support um come and visit us on Evan hold uh, we'd love to have you finally i want to give a special shout out to fonzis and rakezi and all of the great work they have done on the next action guide there are multiple next action guides for different classes especially for us for death knights and uh, definitely check it out uh, i have a discount code in the description if you would like 10 percent off you can find all that information on ebon hold so until next time uh, enjoy the analyzer <laughs>